praises to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Rakakurash, to honor the elders and apostles with great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all like Akim, Wa Akwat, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. Brother Malak from GMS Detroit, Modern Day Madness and Prophecies. And y'all already are aware of this. Y'all have seen this. I'm not going to make too much of a, of a ordeal out of this. But right here, y'all, I'm going to put it to you like this. If my wife was clapping and cheering and crying for another nigga, she going to have my uh, knuckle imprint on her face. All right, flat out. What you know? Hey, whatever. I said it. God damn it. <laughs> we are not in the kingdom yet. Granted, you know, we all, hey, even over, uh, us over here at Great Millstone, we look up to our elders and apostles. But we ain't nothing like that going to never happen over here on this side, okay? That is way too much. Now, that's doing, now, that is cultish. That's cult, that's, that's some cult shit. Okay? Come on, man. You, you, you should not be, you shouldn't be glorying and brothers' wives clamoring over you. That's another thing, too. Come on now, Jay. Come on, Nate. Come on, Nate. You making... I ain't gonna spend long on this one. You making this one easy, dog. Your woman should not be clapping and cheering for no brother of the congregation. You know, it's bad enough your woman got crushes on these Hollywood niggas. God damn it. Your woman shouldn't... Your woman shouldn't even... Well, you know, I, I, I'll put it to you like this. Your woman should not be crying and cheering for uh, a, a brother. That's that's way, way out of order. You know, that's 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 what that's 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 way out of order. Uh, I'm gonna get this First Corinthians eight. That's the type of glory that Yahweh Shai is going to receive. None of us down here are on such a great level. You know, hey, we we send each other gifts. We you know help each other out call each other by our titles and our you know proper names to show respect and whatnot but that's that's not supposed to be happening okay first corinthians 8 and uh two and if any man think that he uh oh slack it not that not that uh not that hang on galatians slack i was getting mixed up with galatians 6 and 3 slack so y'all uh real quick this is all this is all the scripture i'm getting for that one you see what's going on in israel boy god damn all right galatians 6 and 3 for if any man think uh think himself to be something when he is nothing he deceiveth himself okay all right uh, uh verse four actually it says but let every man prove his own work and then shall he have it's a lot. I had to get crazy on that term it says but let every man prove his own work and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another all right you know hey hey when we get to the kingdom, that's when we're gonna to get to party and ball out. Here it is, Nate. You don't know if you, you don't know if you've even woken up an elect member. You understand what I'm saying? You know your congregation could get destroyed before you. So don't y'all. We, we can't big ourselves up like that. We're not. We're still in this sinful flesh. Okay, you have fucking wicked, foul thoughts. Okay. You 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 uh, you 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 man. Come on, Jake. Next clip, y'all. I'm not going to spend too long on this. This is inordinate. This is out of order. Plain and fucking simple. So we're going to come to this over here. We're going to deal with this right quick. Saw that video of Antonio Brown greeting the fans of that Arena League team at Albany when Paul Blart's uncle told him that. Now the cameraman was trying to help him out and tell me on the team, but by that time his pride was in full swing. If I see a dude walking around with a floral suit and night boots on, you got a lot of money that you're spending in a weird way. You probably own the team, but he ain't believe him. Either left embarrassed or unemployed, but let me guess, both of them. <laughs> Adrian Broner, which he's bugged, uh, 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 he's bugged out. Not uh, and Adrian Broner, my bad. That's the boxer. Antonio Brown, this nigga, he's he's bugged out. But you know he uh, he 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 got his money and he owned this team. And here it is, this Edomite 
that is under his authority actually believes that he is above him. Why? Because of Edomite supremacy, as they call it, white supremacy. That goes to show you the curses that we have gotten down very low and they have gotten above us very high. So money is not the answer to our problems. Getting status ain't the answer to our problems. Becoming good citizens is not the answer to our problems because in your in their eyes, you just a nigga, boy. Now get and step and fetch it. <laughs> All right? We need to completely overthrow the society. That is the only answer to all this. I'll be damned. All right, white man, the boy. <laughs> Up in my shit, talk crazy to me like that. But even stock ain't the shit. A, a, a fucking cop will come, my, can come to my house right now. What, I, what I'm going to do? Yes, officer. No, officer. Nope. I, I don't know what's going on. Such and such doesn't live here. I can't buck no fit. Otherwise, I get my top balloon out. Why? Because we're in the land of our captivities. You have no authority when you're a slave. Um, Deuteronomy 28 and 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. And, and we see that, y'all. That man is a multimillionaire, a fucking athlete. All right? That nigga leaped over a nigga in the middle of the football field with full football clothes on you know he's bugged out but if that nigga you know that nigga run up on you and whoop your ass if you don't know no hand-to-hand -hand combat and that he that that eat hold up right he might was standing there stomach out in his glory knowing jake wasn't gonna do nothing to him i'm reading the fans of that arena league team at albany when paul blart's uncle told him <laughs> Now the cameraman was trying to have him out and tell me on the team, but by that time his pride was in full swing. Now I'ma just go on the record and say if I see a dude walking around with a floral suit and night boots on, you got a lot of money that you spend in that weird way, you probably own the team, but he ain't believe me. Look, standing there in all his glory, stomach out. Oh, Bolo cross for that. <laughs> hey, if this ain't a slavery, then what is, man? Why are we still at A? Hey, sometimes, sometimes I don't be blaming Jake when Jake haul off and get crazy on eat him in public because shit like this, you get tired of this, man. I'm you, you a whole bill paying adult. In the United States of America, got a motherfucker trying to sun you. Got Karen, and she not, you know, she 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 don't know what to do. She she want to tell him to 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 not do it, but she just she entertain. You know, come on, man. This is captivity, dog. This is captivity. Look, she said, shit. Let me get up out of here before they start calling me Karen. I don't want no parts of this. I'm gonna let, uh, uh, I'm gonna let, uh, Paul Blart handle it. You know, hey, that's all I had on that. Just, just going to show you, you know, this shit. Now, uh, let me get, oh man, the Lord gotta just, uh, you know, let's, let's do, let's do this, actually. Let's do it. This will be like a three part clip. Ladies, you gotta compete for you, man. If you want that man to realize that you are a keeper. See, Americans are a rarity and a specialty here in Germany. So when my husband back then boyfriend came boyfriend came to visit so now with this woman, I'm assuming this is some German uh, uh, chick. I'm not gonna say she's a Jake, but you know, hey, what you know, it, hey, whatever, hey, right? Basically, uh, she, you know, you have this trend, you know, the passport bros thing going on around, uh, right? But she's encouraging women on how to treat their men to get your man to stay. Because here in the West, see, sisters, unfortunately, you've been taught to dog niggas. <laughs> dog and hog niggas. Well, recently, men, and particularly black men, said, you know what? We about to hop on a plane and, and escape. And, you know, you can't halfway blame them. Now, is they wasting a lot of money? Yeah. 
but I, 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 I don't halfway blame him. So I'm going to let this play out. But this just goes to show you, y'all, you know, the, the the Western world of the dynamic between a man and a woman, it doesn't It's gotten so bad that niggas is willing to get on a jet and go elseworld to find a wife. That's not good. That's not good. In Germany back in 06, I had to prove to him that I was better than everybody he dated before and that I'm going to be better than everybody that he could possibly date in the future. So I took the man on trips, I bought him everything that he wanted to have and stuff that he didn't even want to have and I had to let him know, look, I adore you, I appreciate you coming all the from America to Germany and come visit me and I have to prove to you and I will do everything and anything that is in my power to show you that I am the one. Why am I saying this? I just want to tell you, gentlemen, that there are women who will compete for you. So ladies, compete for your man if you want him to know that you're a keeper. And if you don't want to compete for him, don't be mad if he doesn't want to compete for you. Ladies, you got to compete for your man if you want that man to realize okay. your boyfriend came to... Uh, I'm going to just get this other one. So basically, you know, hey, that, that, that Ruth spirit, you know, this, 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 this modern day dynamic of men and women is, is a complete... Uh, sham, you know, sit, just, uh, I, I'm not going to turn this into one of them type of videos, but y'all all know what it is, you know, the women have become uh, less than ideal, the men are through, and, and then a child comes out, and this little, and that little nigga is going to be a little through little nigglet, that's, that's no good, no good. Here are some reasons, here are some reasons why the average American man Loves Europe, and once they touch down, they don't never want to leave. I said average. I'm not even talking about anybody that makes. Look, I'm not saying she is Israelite. <laughs> I, I I ain't no German bitches smack their lips like that, like the nigga woman. I guess Jake rubbing off on her, but ultimately, you know, this this uh, like I said, I'm showing these two clips to show you the problem. The problem is really getting out of hand, y'all. This ain't no, you know, I. Y'all know me, goddamn. I don't, you know, a, a bitch is a bitch, but this this is getting out of hand. You can't run a society where niggas is willing to get on jets and leave. It's about to be turmoil in the states. It's about to be turmoil in these fucking states. Six figure number one, they get into the club for free. You may be like, why is that? Because some of the club owners know that American men are a magnet for women. Once you made it into the club, the women smell you. Jake men, correction. Uh, she, she, uh, uh, American Israelite men are women magnets. Ain't nobody sweating the white man. Swag from a mile away. So what do they do? They levitate towards you and they try to get your attention. No matter what. It doesn't matter if they scream. It doesn't matter if they bump into you by accident. It doesn't matter if they, I don't know, do what else by accident just to get your attention. Once they got your attention, they ask you what you want to drink. They buy you drinks. They buy you dinner. They take you out. They spend money on you. And I'm talking about beautiful women, okay? Pretty women. Lebanese, Turkish, German, Ethiopia, whatever you want. Treating a man like you never got treated before. Here are some reasons why the average American... All right. Here are some Let me just get this one uh, example out of uh, Ruth. Because basically what she's describing is how a woman is supposed to also cherish her husband. Matter of fact... Let's let's get uh let's get uh fuck uh let's get this real quick uh yeah okay Titus two and four it says uh I'll start at three it says the aged woman likewise that they be in behavior as becometh holiness not false accusers not given to much wine teachers of good things. That they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. Right there. Hey, hey, hang on. To be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of Yahweh be not blasting. And right there, she was, you know, she's, you know, she, you can physically tell she's older. She's teaching you women, you know, don't get out of that Western world, American woman spirit. You know, hey, the elders and apostles just did a video, the Apostle Gabar. Just did a video of how that song American Woman came about. You know, you know, hey sisters, y'all have been horrifically brainwashed. All right, and you need to. Uh, now you know you're not out here. You're not supposed to be out here in the club. You know, looking for a nigga, but you need to understand that the way that you're supposed to treat a man 
it's supposed to change now. Now that you're in this truth, the way that you, uh, you know, say for instance, you know, the way that you're supposed to deal with a man is, is, is supposed to be changed. You're not supposed to be acting like these punk bitches on the earth who are demons and show no appreciation, you know, no love to the kids. They just want to look pretty and go and party. The Lord is going to destroy bitches like that outright. All right, now this is Ruth. And I'm going to start at, uh, here we go. Uh, let me see. Ruth was, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, okay, uh, Slack, it might be chapter two. Slack, yeah, I want to get, okay. Slack, it. Okay, here we go. Right here, right? So, Ruth 3, and we'll start at 7. It says, And when Boaz had eaten and drunk, and his heart was merry, he went to lie down at the end of, of the heap of corn. And she came softly and uncovered his feet and laid her down. And it came to pass at midnight that the man was afraid and turned himself, and behold, a woman lay at his feet. You know, so he, you know, he eaten, drinking, passed out, woke up, you know, somebody laying on him. You know, he, he like, oh, shit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure nobody trying to mark him, right? Verse 9, it says, uh, And he said, Who art thou? And she answered, I am Ruth, thine handmaid. Spread therefore thy skirt over thine handmaid, for thou art a near kinsman. And he said, Blessed be thou, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Power, says my daughter, for thou hast showed me more kindness in the latter end than at the beginning, inasmuch as thou followedest not young men, whether poor or rich. And now, my daughter, fear not. I will do to thee all that thou requirest, for all the city of my people doth know that thou art a virtuous woman. So basically, you know, this was a custom. You know, you you know, hey, to, to give you an example, you know, if you remember for any of y'all, you know, if you ever had your grandparents around, you know, granddaddy would come in and come in from a long, hard day of work. And who was the first one to meet him at the door? Grandma. She'd do what? Take his fucking boots off, you know. Put him on a nice fresh pair of some, or you know, put his put his sandals on. You know, this is a to 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 pamper a person's feet is is is, is a form of uh, obeisance in which she was covering his feet. You know, being his covering in which he said, you know, hey, and everybody here know you, you know you a good woman, and if you know the story, you know he went and had the counsel that he was going to go to be her husband. But this goes to show, you know, she didn't. N nigga, get up, nigga. No, she didn't come in that spirit. She came in a, in a humble, meek spirit, and she was rewarded for that by being made, uh, you know, his woman. You know, he put a baby in her, and 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 y'all know the story. And, and this is that's how our women are supposed to be taught. Reasons why not to be demons. You know, telling niggas they not shit, bitch, nigga, you broke, you a dusty nigga, nigga, your teeth crooked, nigga. You know, <laughs> hey, that's 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 going off, man. Don't nobody can't, can you can't love no creature when she treats you like that, man. Come on. Certain today that we were in the fifties. The average size today is a size sixteen, a very uncommon size in the nineteen fifties. What is the reason behind this? In a word, inflammation. We are fed fake toxic processed foods it's seed oil city in every kitchen but our own if we are awake to wellness and the portions are fred flintstone the massive portion of industrialized parasitic meat that we eat in this country is clogging our colon arteries while making our kidney and liver work overtime even our precious plants are pesticidal we consume all kinds of chemical products without question in hopes for a quick fix to our expanded bellies, slim fast, fat freeze, Botox, following their toxic trap of well-packaged lies. Today, we have food delivered to our door, drive everywhere, shop in big box stores for little boxes of processed, nutritionless food, then even skip the cook time with microwave radiation. We are exploding with hormones and antibiotics given to our livestock. The average breast size in the 50s was a B cup and today it is a double D. The big food and big pharma world love to keep us sick, medicated, and buying. We are... Alright, and 
You know, I'll just say this, you know, now us, the Israelites, now we know, hey, our women are naturally vol voluptuous. And I say voluptuous, not, I'm not making an excuse for no overweight, for no out of shape. Uh, and our men, you know, we have the potential to be, you know, fucking, we do 10 push-ups, nigga, we bust. <laughs> we cracking sidewalk when we walk, but uh the the point remains you know look at this shit man there's there's this 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 is something i i just can't i can't get over this y'all i just you know i just did a couple of videos yesterday but i just can't get over how this man is destroying he's destroying us what's supposed to be healing you is killing you i can't i can't get over this all right Y'all, what about Shimya Shai is going to correct this, man? This motherfucker, mother, you was, you, you we, 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 we dying every bite, every munch, every bite. You dying. This man must be stopped. He will be stopped. Matter of fact, come back to this channel, right? That I did those videos based off of. Let's go to shorts. Let's look at, uh, which video was it? Which video was it? Let me find it real quick. American foods that are big. Starbucks customers are American foods that American bread. The food pyramid is literally a scam. See, in the 70s, the U.S. started to notice something weird. People were getting super obese. So the USDA began to work on food guidelines so Americans, especially children, would stay healthy. But when a nutritional expert came up with the first healthy version of the food pyramid, something strange happened. First, they cut the recommended five to nine daily servings of fruit and vegetables in half. Then they pushed the recommended three to four daily servings of bread, pasta, and cereals to a whopping six to 11 servings. Because processed sugar is so much better for your health than vegetables. They even put crackers and other stuff filled with lots of sugar at the base of the food pyramid. Why? Because that's what big food wanted. And they lobbied the USDA to push the food they sold. Subscribe for our upcoming video on how... Mm, 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 mm. Yo, this nigga E gotta be stopped, boy. He's a fucking menace with the... St <laughs> He's he's a menace in that laboratory, man. He's a fucking menace. This man is is destroying the world with diet. Dainty. Here we go. Sorok thirty seven. Uh, here we go. We'll do go twenty nine through thirty one. Be not unsatiable, me in in anything, meaning you can't be satisfied. Nor too greedy upon meats, which all hey, all of us you know, have had to break that programming. It was instilled in all of us in Babylon growing up. Frosted freight, fr frosted flakes, apple jacks, nigga, uh, 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 pancakes, bacon, eggs, and ham, nigga, uh, sunny delight, Sprite, bitch, double cheeseburger, <laughs> fruit roll up, nigga, you know, all, all that, man, had us all, man, I, it's a, it's a mother effing miracle, y'all, man, y'all, when I, I, boy, I look back, I, I don't know how I didn't perish. You know, if I say the first straight 10 years of my life, I probably I probably literally ate fast food every day for a solid straight 10 years until, you know, uh, uh, I was I was taken uh, into different custody, if you will. You know, my, my guardians got swapped. Right. Man, we supposed to that's this shit's killing us and he knows it and it's done purposely. It's done purposely says, for excess of meats bringeth sickness, and surfeiting will turn into collar. By surfeiting have many perished, but he that taketh heed prolongeth his life. All right, which that's why I'm a big proponent of fasting. Get your, if you, if you don't got no physical elements that can mess, mess you up, you know, you should be fasting. You should be fasting, y'all. You know, you know, obviously, for spiritual reasons, and you don't boast it to the world, but you should be fasting. If there's nothing wrong with you, you should be fasting regularly that strengthens your connection with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and your reliance upon them you know that that strengthens you that's that's you to yourself you don't need food to survive in these times and to come all we need is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai these people are going to rip each other the skin off each other's faces because they ain't eight in four hours y'all because these whacked out food we are certainly is going to have these people out here through. And obviously, Yahweh Bashim is going to fix all of us and give us our bodies back. But we, it, it don't hurt to shaping our shit up while we're here. All right. So, uh, 
let me deal with uh let me deal with so many videos so many videos oh i could have added this in towards the end of that one clip you know what i want though uh you know what i'm gonna use uh this clip great study where they took 300 ADD kids put them on an elimination diet so they basically eliminated all the crap in their diet and three months later 72 percent of the children did not have it hey and that you know just adding that up you know hey, so a lot of the things that people literally the majority of the diseases that we're dealing with y'all you know uh, ailments is literally food based a lot of what we high blood pr pressure hypertension you know uh, 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 oh my gosh, just the whole assortment, uh, irritable bowel syndrome, uh, oh man, the whole, whole assortment can, can be fixed, Pr primarily, you pray to Yahweh Bashem Shai, of course, all right, and, and, phew, boy, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta stop this man, man. Most Christian Zionists in America have no idea that the people living in Israel are not native, less the area of Palestine, Israel, whatever you want to call it. They were not born there. They immigrated from Europe. Ashkenazi Jews. They were Ashkenazi Jews who came in from Europe and with the rifle took the land. They, God didn't give it to them. They, they took it at the point of a rifle shooting Arabs and they killed Muslims and Christians. They slaughtered them. Massacres. Women, children, horrible massacres. That is the history of Israel, 1948. And I dare any Christian Zionist to prove me wrong because I can show you the historical records of the massacres that took place in 48. It was horrible. Absolutely horrible. The people who were killed. And because of that, the the Arabs developed a, a fury, an anger that that European Ashkenazis just flooded in to Palestine and violently pushed them off their land. And he spoke nothing but the truth. So I'm actually going to get that scripture that was posted right there. I'm not going to talk a whole lot on it. They may very well take my channel based off that. So it might be a wrap, y'all. <laughs> but right there, uh, that goes to show you, you know, we're not the only ones who know that somebody ain't is who he's saying he is. How about that? That's a nice way to put it. Jeremiah 16 and 19, it says, Oh, Lord, my strength. Oh, Yahweh Bashim, I'll shine my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction. The Gentiles heathens all right non-israelites shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say surely our fathers have inherited lies uh vanity and things wherein there is no profit all right and so these heat a it's being revealed that they you know that they're not the people we're the people they took over and we have to we're going to reclaim so let me give all praises to yahweh bahashim yahweh shai bahashim Rakakurash, the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Uh, peace, blessings, and salutations to all like the Akimu Akwath, learning, teaching, and truth, and sincerity. Shalom.